Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome to episode 7 of my Arsenal FM21 beta save. Um, due to popular demand, we will be uh, doing this save over onto full release, which is now out uh, as of recording this video. So the game is now fully released. Uh, can't wait to really get stuck into it properly. We will be doing the Fleetwood save at some point, as promised. Um, but due to popular demand, we will be continuing on this save beyond the beta and into full release. Um, but let's see how we did. Let's see how we ended that season. Um, I think you're going to thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, I did and didn't at the same time. <laughs> so uh, let's see how we got on anyway. So guys, as you can see, we are the Premier League champions. And there's only one thing for it, isn't there really? I think we needed that. Yeah, but seriously, absolutely incredible end to this save. It really is. Uh, well, the season. Um, the save lives on uh, into the full release, as we said a minute ago. But yeah, champions. Champions of England. And my God, it was. Uh, it had a very, very, very interesting end. Um, Man United pushed me the whole way, and I pushed them the whole way. Uh, it was just a two-way battle for this league. Absolutely insane. Insane it was. Uh, so let's go to the schedule, and we'll, we'll show you how the form is across the whole season, just as a recap quickly. As you can see, we started off really well, even beating Man United 6-0. Uh, you know, the only game we lost at this point was in the Carabao Cup. Nothing amazing, you know what I mean? Nothing to worry about. Um, again, look the form all the way down. Really good. Lost to Inter. Um, but again, kept decent form here. Some games were a bit questionable, but you know, performances were not so good. Um, but overall, overall, the, the performance across the whole season was very, very good. Now, as you can see at the bottom here, we were unbeaten with two games to go. And at this point, where we lost to Spurs, I was absolutely gutted. I, at this point, I was thinking, this is it. This, this is written in the stars for Spurs to end the unbeaten run at Arsenal. But not only that, but stop us winning the title. Uh, you know, this is, this is just, it's just typical, right? Spurs are going to be the ones that stop us doing it. And at that point, I thought that it was all over. With one game to go, it's all over. And at this point at Norwich, we were one point ahead of Man United, I think. Then we lost to Tottenham, and then they went two points ahead of us. Um, and at that point, I thought it was gone. I thought it was done, dusted, and over. Um, so then we go into the Aston Villa game. We won this game, but my God, it was a struggle. It was a struggle to win that, that game. Um, there was an incredible moment in it. Um, we took the lead. And at that point, I'm thinking, this is good, this is good. You know, we, we, we're doing all we can to win the title here. Um, then Man United. This is what happened at Man United. So if we go to Man United's schedule really quickly here, as you notice, we've changed the skin. Um, and, and here, I mean, they're in the Champions League final, to be fair, Man United. So they have got the chance to still win the major, major trophy. Um, now, they beat Leicester as we lost to Spurs, but then they went on and drew with West Ham. Now, anything but a win was needed for me. I needed nothing and nothing else but a win. That's the, that was it. You know, I had to hope that West Ham could hold them to a draw or loss. And as you can see, they drew to West Ham. Now, if I go back to my own schedule, we'll watch this sort of like the highlights of this game here. And oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, as you can see, Gabriel scoring in the 88th minute. He scored in the 88th minute to win the league title for me. And... Uh, it's, uh, I, I just could not believe it. I really could not believe it. I was so happy when Gabriel put that in because obviously I was keeping an eye on the Man United game at the same time. And I know it takes a little bit of time to update at the end. So I was kind of like, have we won it? Have we not? And then when we went to the emails to check, we'd won it. And I was super, super happy. But let's go through the goals here really quickly. Let's load them up and uh, and see how this game actually unfolded and how it happened. Um, it was a tale of two halves, really. I'd say the first half we were, we were much better, but the second half they were better. So at this point, I'm thinking this is good, you know, a um, bit lucky, a bit fortunate, but we got the goal early on um, and we can go and kick on now at home and go and slap Aston Villa something like 4-5-0, but it wasn't to be. Uh, McGinn, again, Aston Villa getting a bit fortunate there. Donnarumma not really, not really did much, just sort of static, but this goal here to win the title, to win the league title right at the end of the game. It was absolutely fantastic. The scenes, the scenes, but yeah. 
I could not be happier. In the second season, uh, the last save as well on the on the beta, unbelievable. Um, and Pierre Emerick Aubameyang with thirty six goals in the season, eighteen assists for Maitland Niles. I mean, these guys are just absolutely unreal. He's losing a bit of pace, you know. He's still decent, but he's losing. His stats are starting to drop now. Uh, thirty two goals in thirty eight. I've got a massive headache here because I don't know what to do. Being is that they're sort of like getting old now. Uh, Lacazette also hit 30, so now we've got two strikers in their 30s. Do I keep them for another season? Do I get rid of one? Do I do I get rid of both? Is it a risk? What you know? What I mean, so I'm, I'm I'm in two minds. I don't really know what to do. Um, I also don't really know where else I need to strengthen at the moment. It's something to consider uh, in the next stream. I will be kind of going through it very thoroughly. I'm not going to rush into any signings, but at the same time, I'm not going to. If I see something that's going to benefit the club straight away, I'm going to take it. Um, so it's going to be kind of a, a very thorough, in-depth like look at the squad as a whole. Um, I've got Tenali coming in on a free, as we know from previous episode. Um, so there are, there are, you know, the midfield I think is stacked. We're good in the midfield. Um, I think I might bring in a young striker for like a mentor, you know, for like Aubameyang and Lacazette to mentor. Um, maybe like a an Esposito type of player, maybe not him specifically, but someone of that kind of age and that caliber. Um, and, and we'll just see where we get on with that. And he can kind of be like groomed into the long-term replacement for, for one of them. Um, and then maybe, maybe a center back, you know, I know Gabriel is the winner or scored the winner, sorry, to get the premier league title. But I'm thinking if you look at these three here, like, like Philippe in particular, you know, good, good, you know, quality center back, a Kanji, you know, not as good, but still, you know, a very important role he's played all season. Um, and Gabriel's kind of the weaker link, I'd say. But I don't know. I don't know how, I don't know what to do at the moment. Like I say, we're going to just go through it thoroughly. Um, just just literally take our time. I think maybe most of the back line is okay. I think most of the midfield is okay. It might just be one striker and one centre-back only. Um, but we don't know yet. I'll, I'll have a look properly through it. We'll see who we can get out the door as well. Um, but yeah, absolutely incredible, credible end to the stream. I mean, I was I was gutted at this loss, and I just thought that was it. We'd thrown it all away, um, and we beat Man United down here five 0 as well. So you know, we we put ourselves in in a favourites position to sort of like go on and win the league. But it was still so close to the very last game, and I'll tell you what, it's been fun. It really has. I, you know, I, I mean, I I knew even even after that loss, I knew that we'd overachieved again, and when we got top four and we'd nearly won the league. You know, we'd done so well. Even if even if we didn't win the title, you know, I knew we'd had a really good season overall. It would have been disappointed not to kind of get to the title. But at the same time, we'd had a good season overall. I was, you know, the, the club is progressing. Um, but, you know, when Tottenham beat us, I did actually feel a little bit, you know, deflated. And I felt like, you know, we'd we'd lost it all in that very moment. You know what I mean? And But it's kind of, you know, it's kind of easy to get caught up in the moment, I guess. But, you know... I'm just happy. <laughs> I'm super happy that we managed to pull it out of the last day. So, I mean, that's that's really it for this episode, guys. I don't really know what else I can I can show you other than the fact that uh, we've won the league. Uh, we've got a new skin. So, if anyone's interested in this new skin, actually, it's um, a skin called FME Dark. You can get a regular FME as well. I have got this preset one as well, but I'm not a massive fan of it. The FME Dark one's quite a good skin. Um, I can put a link in below for that. Um, but yeah, other than that, and um, you know, considering how well we've done over the course of the season, I'm looking forward to the next season now. I was going to end this save, but as I said previously, we're going to continue it on because a lot of people have kind of asked me if I can continue it on because they want to see how I can do with it. Um, so I suppose the next aim really is try and get that European title. Um, and then, you know, that's that's probably the next the next thing to go for. But we will be starting the Fleetwood save at some point on stream. Um, and all the details are all below. Um, you know, please hit that subscribe button if you like the videos. Uh, please, if, if there's anything else I can improve on, please let me know. Because um, obviously these videos are just mainly mainly highlight videos of what's happened on stream. If you want to see something else, please let me know. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. So as I say, all the details below. If you want to come and watch the stream live, that's all below as well. And thank you very much, everyone. And uh, have a good day. And on to episode uh, eight, I'd say. So goodbye, everyone, and have fun. Okay, guys, so um, now we move on to Evolving Mindset. Uh, free organization, absolutely amazing people. They really, really are. Uh, and as you can see at the top there, 
um, evolving mindset offer free online advice sessions from qualified mental health nurses uh, they also offer mindfulness stress anxiety management uh, mental health awareness and are also available should anyone need any support um, I wholeheartedly recommend them they're so so good um, and, and if you need the help um, you know as, as they say it's 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 okay to not be okay and, and it's so true it really is and if you are struggling out there especially in this climate please please get in touch with Evolving Mindset I really do recommend them uh, shout out to Limo uh, one of their mental health nurses and directors he uh, is a streamer on Twitch his details will be below um, if you feel like you want to just connect with a, a Twitch streamer um, rather than contact the organization itself uh, please feel free to do that Limo will 100% support you through anything amazing bloke top streamer um, and like I say, he will really help you out a lot. 